Now we're going to look at solving inequalities with negative numbers. And we're gonna focus on problems that have multiplication and division in them. Our first example is negative three X is greater than or equal to 18. So we'll draw a line through the middle of our inequality so we can see the left from the right side. And then we'll focus on the left side so that we can get X by itself, which means that we need to undo the negative three it's being multiplied by x. So we'll do the opposite, which is divide by negative 3. And whatever we do to that side, we have to do to the right side as well. So on the left, negative 3 over negative 3 will cancel each other out because that will simplify to just 1 times x, which is the same as x. And on the right side, we have 18 divided by negative 3, which is negative 6. Now we have to decide what symbol goes in the middle. We learned from our last lesson that whenever we're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality sign. And since we had to divide by negative three in this problem, that means we do have to flip our sign. So we started with the greater than or equal to symbol and now it flips to the other direction and becomes a less than or equal to. Now we can see what our solution will look like on a number line. Since x is less than or equal to negative 6, that means we'll need a closed circle at negative 6 to show that it's included as one of our answers. And then we'll shade everything to the left to represent all of the values that are less than negative 6. So it will look like this. In our last step, is to check our answer. So we'll start off with our original inequality and we'll need to figure out some number to substitute for x. And remember, we can choose any number that's a less than or equal to negative six. I'm gonna choose negative 10. So by plugging negative 10 in for x, I have negative three times negative 10 is greater than or equal to 18. By simplifying the left side, negative three times negative 10 gives me positive 30. So now I have 30 is greater than or equal to 18, which is true. So now I know I do have the correct inequality symbol. For this problem, we have m over negative four is less than two. We'll draw a line down through our inequality symbol and focus on isolating our variable m. Since that fraction represents division, we'll have to use multiplication to undo that negative four. So we'll multiply by negative four on both sides. On the left, negative four in the numerator cancels out the negative four in the denominator. So I have just m. And on the right side, two times negative four gives me negative eight. And once again, since we divided by a negative number, we'll have to flip our inequality sign. So the less than symbol flips around to become the greater than symbol. Now let's see what that looks like on the number line. So since our solution says that M is greater than negative eight, I'm gonna have an open circle at negative eight because negative eight itself is not one of the solutions for M, but everything greater than negative eight is. So I'm going to shade all of the values that are to the right of negative eight. So it will look like this. Now let's check our answer. Start with our original problem. And let's see, what number do we want to plug in for M? It can be anything that's greater than negative eight. I'm going to choose the number zero. So now I have zero over negative four is less than 12. Well, zero divided by negative four is just zero. So that becomes zero is less than 12, which is true. So I know that I have the correct symbol. Now, it's very careful to pay attention to whether or not we are dividing or multiplying 
by a positive or negative number as we're solving our inequalities because that determines if our symbol needs to change or not. So let's look at these two problems and see if we can figure out the difference here. On the left, we have negative 5x is greater than negative 10. Negative 5 is being multiplied by x. So we need to divide both sides by negative 5 to get x by itself. So this problem will become x is less than negative 2. So our symbols had to change because we divided by a negative 5. So remember, dividing by negative 5 caused the sign to change. Now let's look at the right side. Now on this problem, we have 5x is greater than negative 10. We still have a negative number in this problem. We have the negative 10 on the right side. However, that's not what determines whether the sign will change or not. It's what we're actually doing to get our variable by itself. And since the coefficient of x this time is a positive 5, we're dividing by a positive 5 on both sides. And dividing by a positive number does not cause the sign to change. So our solution will be x is greater than negative 2. So remember, if we're dividing by a negative, the sign changes. But dividing by a positive 5 causes no sign change. It stays the same. So keep this in mind as you are solving your problems. Just ask yourself whether your step involves dividing or multiplying by a negative number, and that causes the sign to change. But if you divide or multiply by a positive, the sign will stay the same.